as you saw from the title of this video, we are cleaning these NES cartridges. Now, I got these from a friend recently, and, uh, yeah, as you, could, as you saw, they weren't in the best condition. Um, so right here, I am about to swipe up everything and grab Cobra Triangle. Now, this footage kind of got cut because I did a poor job at the beginning of recording it and I skipped Tetris for whatever reason that didn't record but right here you can see Super Mario Bros and Duck Hunt um I think I did a better job with these um I used Lysol wipes to clean these and um as well as Q-tips and rubbing alcohol um some things would only go out with the Lysol wipes and it was it really helped clean the cartridge inside better than the uh, Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. But the rubbing alcohol and Q-tips I did use to get some stains off some of these cartridges. Um, as you can see from this footage, you can see it, how I'm scrubbing pretty hard at some spots. Because there's a stain right there that just won't come off. I kept trying and trying and trying. It just didn't want to move. Anyways. Then I grabbed some rubbing alcohol to try and do it, and it got some more of the stains out. As I stated earlier, that it did get out stuff that the Lysol wipes couldn't, and vice versa. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really tried a couple of stains, and that line just wouldn't come out either. Uh, really, that was about it. Just the back end, one little line would not come out. Other than that, the game was clean just fine. Next we got Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 um, was pretty easy to clean, and this one was in was one of the games in better condition. Um, I did own, well, I still do own a second copy, except this one looks much nicer than the one I already had. It just didn't um, run. And by the way, all these NES games, I did try my NES, and none of them ran at all when I first got them, so yeah. Just didn't record that, <laughs> silly me. But yes, um, I am really making sure that there's a shine to them. There was these gray spots that were kind of stuck on, and right there is some, of uh, like, I guess, white stains or whatever that would come off with the, uh, Q-tips. Well, I, at first I was scrubbing, I'm like, why isn't anything happening? But then I realized, oh, rubbing alcohol didn't go on it. But, as you saw, it did work, um, yeah, I'm scrubbing a lot of spots just to make sure the cartridges stay clean, or, well, look nicer too, and even the label I wanted to polish up because there was some dirt and grime on there, and I'm sure there still is, it just is much better than it was before, if you know what I mean. Well, now I start on Arkanoid. Arkanoid, um, is basically like, um, Breakout, or Icebreakers. It's, it's a pretty cool game, um, I guess, something you'd see on other consoles as well. Pretty much anything can run this kind of game. But, uh, yeah, I'm really scrubbing this one out. There is some yellow on the Caution. But other than that, I got most of it out. There was, there was some hard to get stains and stuff like that. Um, you, I think it was this one. I will know when I'm editing this. But uh, there, one of the cartridges when I was rubbing like that, you could hear the squeak, and boy, it was like it. You could tell the thing was clean. But the white stains were the hardest to get on that little corner. Well, I'm trying to, right here I'm trying to get rid of the yellow me with the rubbing alcohol. Funny thing, it says do not rub with alcohol. But, uh, we're doing that anyways. Sorry Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, I had to scrape some of that stuff off with my nail. Well, what I have of a nail, I don't really even have one of them. But, uh, yeah, I scrubbing them out and now I'm cleaning the pin area and it should be running just fine for me but uh, 
yeah, it, it worked. And, um, I'm cleaning a bit more with the, uh, um, Lysol wipe. And now it runs. Good. Next, we got the final cartridge. The hardest to clean one. I'm getting a, right here, I'm getting a new Lysol wipe for this. Because it is the Legend of Zelda 2 Golden Cartridge. Those things are harder to clean and I thought a brand new one would work better. And this one took me quite some time to clean. Um, because it is a shinier one and the stains are easier to see than it is on a gray cartridge. So, and there was these marks that I could not get off. I kept trying to get them off, they just would not come off. No matter how hard I tried. But, um, it's just a bit of wear. And there's also some black marks that I'm thinking is the cartridge itself before it was painted gold by Nintendo. So, and you can see a lot of lines and stuff like that. Again, I'm doing my best. Um,. But it does look a whole lot nicer than it did before, and you could even see some shine in the sides a bit better than um, you were able to before. Now, the camera, it's, it's hard to record that with the camera, but yeah, the rest of the footage was lost, but these are the cartridges before I cleaned them, right here. Um, I'm just kind of re-showing them to you guys, and yeah. All of them were pretty beat up, um, kind of showing casing each and every individual one before. Uh, they weren't in the best of condition, again, but I think what I've done with them all working now um, is much better. And Zelda took a while to get working more than the other ones, but that game finally went. As you can see the back sides of these, these look much nicer than prior. Um, you don't see nearly as much grime. Uh, yeah, here I'm showing off the top to show, hey look, they're nice and shiny, nice and clean looking. Much better condition. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumb up and tell me what you'd like to see next here or on the main channel. Thank you. Bye.